Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today we'll be cleaning a 2006 Lincoln Mark LT. This is actually my dad's car and it is completely filthy. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video to see the final transformation. I know I say this a lot, but this car is actually one of the dirtiest ones I've ever done. This is my dad's car, he uses it a lot, and he actually has never cleaned it since the day he got it 14 years ago. So doing this transformation was a pretty big favor for him. As always, I haven't been able to do as much outside cleaning as I do inside, which is completely fine, but I usually start off with doing a pre-rinse throughout the whole car, make sure I get it nice and wet before I move on to adding the soap. In case you were wondering how I got up there, I used the bar stool. I am not that tall to reach back there. Right now I'm adding a little bit of soap with my power wash. Then I'll be using the two bucket method with my Chemical Guys wash mitt. I have one bucket with water and one bucket with soap. The water is so I can make sure I don't spread the dirt anywhere in the car. So what I'm using right now is the Meguiar's non-acid tire and wheel cleaner. I'm spraying it all around the tire and then I'll be using my mother's wheel brush and tire brush to make sure I get all the dirt off. And trust me, it works wonders. As most of you know, I'm using the Chemical Guys Carpet Cleaner Solution. I'm spraying it on the mat, making sure I get everything, and then I'll be using my drill brush to make sure I scrub, scrub, scrub everything away. So at this point my power washer actually ran out of gas so I ended up using my hose just to get rid of all the soap that's in there and whatever leftover water I used my Bissell carpet cleaner to suck it all out. Now that I have everything done outside, I'll start working on the inside. First, I always start off by vacuuming inside and then work my way around. So 
So what I'm using right now is the Chemical Guys Leather Cleaner. I have my horsehair brush, sprayed it with some cleaning solution, scrubbing it down. Next, I whip it off with the microfiber towel. After that, I use my applicator where I add the Chemical Guys Leather Conditioner, dab a little bit on the seat, and after that, I make sure to wait a little bit before wiping it off so the seat absorbs it. So we got this car over 14 years ago, making me only 8 when that happened. I still remember the day we got it, it was nighttime, and I thought this car was the coolest because you could open a little compartment from the middle and you could put your own little cups and drinks there. I mean, as a kid, that was awesome. If you guys are interested in a more detailed video about cleaning leather seats, I actually made a separate video already earlier in the week, so if you're interested, be sure to check it out. Back to everyone's favorite, right now I'm spraying the Chemical Guys carpet cleaner onto the floor because this is one dirty floor. After that I'm using the drill brush making sure I agitate the stains, get everywhere. Once I'm done with that, I'll be using my Bissell portable carpet cleaner, extracting out all the dirt and soap from the carpet making sure to leave it clean. If you guys are interested in me cleaning your car, please feel free to reach out to me about more information. I'd be more than happy to make a video and leave your car looking like new. After getting done with the carpets, I'll be using my McCulloch steamer, getting all the dirt and dust off. I always like to make sure to get everything lightly. You have to be careful with this because since it is hot water, you could melt some of the plastics. So just be careful when using it. I made sure to spray some of the plastics with Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, scrubbing it down with a microfiber towel and get everything nice and clean. Mm -hmm. 